Let's look at Baphomet here, and this is quintessential satanic symbolism, a tribute to Iron Maiden and the use of the Baphomet there, right in plain sight, the number of the beast, uh, the number one beast in this case. Uh, and you can see the same use of Baphomet, pretty standard satanic stuff, if you can understand it. They even put the moon here and all of the symbolism. Uh, now this is Tenacious D, and that's Jack Black. And these guys grow up doing this stuff. And this is another form of Baphomet here with bat wings and a different style of beast. And you can see that they have the pentagram within the circle and the candles. And now on the back of that album, they're babies chained up to this Baphomet or Satan. So they're basically in chains to Satan, and this is a tarot card as the devil, and you can see the similarity between that being and this exact being with the down-facing star and the pen. It's satanic, uh, bottom line. This is the sign of Vulcan, and Vulcan is another satanic sign. There's a god of Vulcan, um, and uh, one of the albums of Aerosmith we'll see in the, uh, this last section uh, of this uh, part two uh, is that Satan always has different disguises. So you see man and woman and their indoctrination as the seed line of the serpent or Satan and they're chained to Satan. Uh, this is the reality uh, that they live in and what we all live in and what we need to get out of. This is now you see uh, Star Trek and Vulcan on the sign of Vulcan. I know it sounds silly but they own the industries, they write the stories for you to watch, and they literally indoctrinate you into their religion while you don't even have a clue. Um, another tarot card, and you can see the similarities. Uh, also, female breasts that way. These uh, beings have different uh, ears as well. So, in a sense, Spock ears. So you have now uh, the devil again as the fiddler, and you can see the sun with lightning bolts and now the goat playing the fiddle and an ad with Palladia magazine. This is pretty, uh, uh, they actually repeated this ad for a long time. They probably still do, but anyway, there is the uh, devil with a fiddle and this music television. Moving on with a Getty image. And like I said, Getty images have these symbolism in there. They like to put those symbolisms in there. It's Kanye West with the goat head t-shirt he's wearing a beast this may be a goat or another beast uh, it doesn't really matter if it's a goat either I found out that it's all kinds of horned animals that they use for this symbology so Kanye West Jay-Z this one here shows a little bit of a goat form you can see that there and it's more of like an ink blot so it's really meant to kinda just distract you and, and play with your mind but I believe that there is a goat form within that that sign so he's promoting that and you can understand that it, that would be the case Beyonce and she wears the horned animals and she's pointing to her ring in this video it's, uh, it's a little blurry there now the recycling of this horned animal again and this shield bikers thing and look at the recycling of that between different puppets and then Lady Gaga and her uh, horned hats she wears all kinds of things you can see this guy now putting the horns on the head and having that horned animal and again her videographer LL Cool J it's no coincidence that he names this the return of the GOTE greatest of all time a way to just sort of distract you to say oh that's not the goat but look this guy is all about it and you see what he does so going back to the Slayer logo and you can see that that's the pentagram and here's the Baphomet creature we saw that earlier the Rolling Stones um, and their goat's head stoop and a reference and this is not against Satan. It's just another way to represent it. Don't think that they're trying to boil Satan and eat him and therefore they're against Satan. Give me a break if you believe that kind of, of opposite uh, psychology. Uh, Exorcist, now I took this image at Target 
and the hidden object that you have for your 10 year old plus is none other than the satanic baphomet so hidden object thriller they are indoctrinating you into religion their religion and we think it's all fantasy this is a pretty key image here now this gives you the link between Freemasonry and Satanism or Luciferianism Wiz Khalifa and his video this is a uh, split second you actually have to stop the video in order to find it and so a split second subliminal imagery and you have this young boy doing the uh, sign of Satan and then you have now the goat's head in the star uh, with the keystone and the keystone is a reference to Freemasonry so you can see that there and that connection this is the encyclopedia of Freemasonry and it's giving you this understanding of as above so below as above so low so below is symbolized by this prelate or priest giving the il cornudo uh, horned devil sign one hand pointing up and one down message Lucifer and Christ shall be reconciled with the Masonic great architect of the universe reigning in heaven on earth and in hell that is their belief that they believe that Christ and Satan are going to be reconciled my goodness what a joke so this merging of black and white dualism and that's where you get that um, that uh, understanding of this uh, of their philosophy uh, and their religion so here's a priest doing that devil sign as above so below uh, again a shadow ink drawing of Count uh, uh, Co Cagliostro whose magic and Satanism inspired the order of the Illuminati and its bloody French Revolution so now claiming the revolution it is said that American diplomat Benjamin Franklin studied and practiced the magic of Cagliostro drawing from uh, the book uh, drawing from the book witchcraft magic and the supernatural so here's a depiction of Ben Franklin doing the as above so below sign it can be farther from the truth that this nation was founded by Christians real true Christians they always put on the veil of Christianity so that they look and smell and feel like what they should be and they're the exact opposite let's not get deceived please and I was deceived into all of that and their media they own everything so here again is the that Baphomet symbol moving on to now the magician I showed you this tarot card before the as above so below sign this infinity symbol is that idea of Alpha and Mo Omega never ending eternal it is their symbol that we understand even at in mathematics uh, this is a key symbol Lady Gaga now closing one eye single eye symbolism eye of Lucifer doing the sign of the benediction this is not quite as above but so below but you have these doves descending um, and I'm telling you the occult has the same thing they have this dove descending representing Holy Spirit all it is is a counterfeit you have to understand fundamentally what the difference is and that's why I call this advanced symbolism is because very easily and they've done this before is that they can say that all religions are the same no read the writings understand what Jesus is saying when he says I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to me uh, uh, to my uh, I am the way the truth and the light no one comes to, to the Father except through me so understand that please here is the um, uh, Pazuzu uh, this was actually in the movie uh, the exorcist I believe and you can see Pazuzu this is a demon God he is called the God of the whirlwind uh, a very interesting part of this is that George W Bush's second inaugural speech said that uh, and to the effect that don't you know that an angel rides in the whirlwind and directs this storm they use this occult linguistic symbolism within their speeches to show that their allegiance to this and this is an angel in the whirlwind this is four winged uh, creature birds head so you have this birds feet interesting symbology we're gonna see that east west revealing itself that way as well this is basically Satan uh, as well so this is now the movie matrix as above so below when he enters into that matrix realm and then uh, this is 2012 uh, Super Bowl and you can see here she's doing this two fingers 
attached symbol. We'll get into that later at the end. Uh, but this, this is distinct after the performance that she does this pose after this particular section in, in the performance. So now moving along, here is Lil Wayne. And we can see this as above, so below sign. And now, look, you may think that it's nothing, but I'm telling you, look at the context of what they do it in. Everything they do is staged, and they do things for a reason. Here is Rihanna, as above, so below. And we're going to see that stuff happening and how they do it. Oh, yeah, it looks so innocent. Thumbs up, thumbs down, right? This balance of opposites, this duality going on, as above, so below. I'll tell you what, look. Oh, yeah, they're pointing up and, and down. Ah, oh, that's innocent, right? That's a dance move. Guess what? This is the top Korean pop band, uh, uh, top Korean pop band called Shiny, and their second album called Lucifer. So this song is actually entitled Lucifer, and they, at the end of the song, they freeze and point as above, so below. I'm telling you. This is all satanic Luciferian stuff. Don't get trapped into it and wake up if you're just ignorant to all of this and understand that you have a spirit that is living inside you. This is my belief. You don't have to believe it, but I'm telling you, please investigate it for yourself and don't condemn it first without investigating it. Look at SpongeBob here. This is a whole uh, show that was Masonic. It was wearing this. Uh, Masonic Fez, which is the same one that FDR uses, a Shriner Freemason. You see the crescent moon here, and then doing the as above, so below sign with the satanic sign. Can it be any more clearer? Even on a cartoon, yeah, it's laughable. No, it's not laughable. I'm telling you, please understand that you're being programmed on this level. Even for the Christian, believe me, ignorance to this is is an under really is an ignorance to the reality of the world that we live in as a christian we're just like whoa most christians are just like oblivious to this oh it's, uh, let's not focus on this stuff we got to be fully aware of what's going on so that we can be fully witnessing uh, to the state of the world completely knowing the world and knowing the word completely in a balance and an understanding of how deep this is and this goes and so look at them doing now this is a life shot and you can see here oh yeah it looks real instant she has her arm down but she's pointing above with the sign of the benediction or the peace sign and she's doing it with her other hand so you know in context that that's what it she's doing we saw this image before as above so below Tyra Banks now we know understand now that that Saturday night fever dance by this Scientology guy Scientology is sex and magic magic and sex uh, sex magic uh, occult and so not only do they do that Hollywood with the uh, eye in the pyramid sign but you also understand now this dance is the as above so below dance another variant of that uh, the way to represent that is the reflection as above so below in this case on the magazine and here's another example of that as above, so below, he's doing the sign of the benediction, which is the Baphomet sign. As above, the reflection, so below. Not only that, you have pyramids and this occult symbology. You have eastern uh, uh, dragon or lion going on there as well. Here's the anarchy symbol. And then the anarchy symbol, here's the yin and yang symbol in the same fashion or photo shoot. So it's staged that way to give you this idea of dualism as above so below black white dualism. Now when you see an image like this with um, Donald Trump it's no coincidence there's a reflection going on. So they use this reflection and it's a uh, symbol. So if you're initiated you understand that this is a deliberate thing rather than just oh let's take a picture and have a reflection of you. I hope you can understand and fully grasp this. We'll continue on.